Hey guys, Thunderset here, and today we are going over Thunder Dragons. Now, I know you guys have been waiting a while for me to address these new boss monsters and Thunder Dragons, because boy, do they make a big difference. Very little about the deck itself has changed. Like I said, it's just a couple new boss monsters and our Heratic Sun Dragon, Overlord of Heliopopolis. Very weird word. And then we have our Constellar Ptolemy M7. He's the real MVP. Heratic is good and all, and it is good use with Chaos and Duo. But uh, you're going to use Constellar M7 pretty much every duel, guys. I'm generally bringing him out every duel. Why it works so well with Thunder Dragons is because we, we were doing similar things. We would get out Bryonic Dragon with tuners and thunder dragon bodies but now you can just summon this boy whenever you need with your normal thunder dragon plays you don't have to stack a bunch of tuners in your deck you don't have to draw into those tuners just generic thunder dragon plays can do this and it gets even more consistent with level duplication then generally m bringing out m7 is really nothing for this deck so we've really curved the thunder dragons around the level dupe you generally won't see me play the uh, Light Sworn version. The Light Sworn version was fantastic before Light Sworn were on the ban list. But now I don't really prefer it. A card you don't usually see me use in Thunder Dragons is Aloof Lupine. You know what he does. You'll banish one, you get to banish another of the same type. It's double banish for us. With level dupe, I feel he's way more useful. It also makes use of our Dragon Matrix. I generally use Dragon Matrix anyway. But with level dupe, even more useful, guys, because their bodies on the field. You get them to 6, you get them to 8, you make easy XCs. You're getting way more use out of these cards than you used to, especially Aloof Lupine now that you can start by burning your normal summon. Or you could just special summon with a dark, a matrix, get that plus 1 using it for different ways. It makes it much, much smoother, especially for your Levioneers, because these are the complete... Uh, total of monsters that are light that we have in our deck so uh, not too many for our destructive Levioneer which is really the effect you're trying to get off now that we can use him for an XCs once he already gets his pop off so it's pretty pretty cool we're also using Melody of Awakening purely for our Levioneer we still have one tuner we don't need as many tuners thanks to these new XCs boss but we do need one tuner but, uh, I w yeah, I won't go over the basics of Thunder Dragons, just one duo with the two Levioneers. But guys, M7, get one of these for your Thunder Dragons deck. It makes a huge difference. It's like a way easier to make Bionic Dragon that's way better on resources. And it's, it just turns this deck on its head, especially with level dupe. Make sure you're using level dupe. Makes great use of these Loof Lupines. I'm sure a lot of you are still playing those Light Swarms. They're okay. A little too much, uh, too much synchro for where we're going. It used to be all about synchro, but these XCs really make the difference for Thunder Dragons, guys. So try out your M7s. Totally competitive, cog worthy. No matter what you want to do with them, just jump on them. Still just as fun, guys. Virtually didn't lose with this deck once. It's crazy, but uh, there's a million ways to play. So don't, you know, I don't prefer the Light Swarm way, but if you like the Light Swarm way, that's still gonna be getting you w's out there so it's great to see thunder dragons back all thanks to bosses that have nothing to do with the archetype so we shouldn't really see any nerfs directed completely at thunder dragons it's a good time good meta just lots of back row we can handle it though so i hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching all right here we are facing a set kaiba we're going second Let's see what our boy's got for us he's using balance 23 cards no extra deck. Sounds like Trimids to me, and yup, you betcha. So it shows a cruiser with a back row. We already have a Melody. He's starting with just a Master and two back row set with one in his graveyard, just a cruiser. End phase, we throw our Dark away, get a head start on our graveyard setup. Here we're going to Gold Sark away a Roar. Roar's gonna special summon a Hawk. Now Hawk's gonna special summon a Roar. And there you go, that's the M7 already, right out the gates. We're gonna use his effect immediately to put a Roar in the graveyard. Master's gonna chain and use his cruiser. Does not search 
Um, the Sphinx, I think. I forget what he searches. A hunter. So now we're gonna normal summon the aloof blue pine, banish a dark, and a matrix. It's gonna give us a search with the dark and an add with the matrix. The matrix can only add the matrix. Then we get a duo. Duo and matrix, that's our big boy combo, but wait. We're not even done. We're gonna level Og the Loof Lupine. Then we're gonna bring out the duo. We got the Heratic. Now, guys, you may think I was crazy, but I was gonna tribute my own M7. I was gonna tribute M7. His material will go to the graveyard. Then we use that melody on the Matrix. Get two Chaos of Ioneers. Bring one out. Destroy that back row. Or we could tribute him. Or no, we already used our tribute. Oh, just tons and tons of options. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Pegasus. Going second. He's about to catch a rank down, poor guy. 24 cards with Mind Scan, only 3 in his extra deck, so who knows what he's even doing. He's gonna set a back row, set a monster. We use our Dragon Dark because we do run 3 Dragon Dark. That enables this play. We already have a Dark Monster in our graveyard. Top deck of Gold Sark, banish our Dragon Roar. Dragon Roar is going to start us off with the Hawk outside. Then we're going to normal summon our Glow Up Bulb. That's going to be a Black Rose Wipe of the field. We also use our Hawk. We're going to get rid of that Roar and Dark in our hand. He's going to just destroy his resources with the Regeki Break. He is Witchcrafters, so I have no sympathy for him. I like to clap Witchcrafters. We bring out a Glow Up Bulb just so we don't take any damage. And we already have follow up plays with a loop Lupine and a Dragon Matrix, because you can banish the Dragon Matrix and then banish any Thunder Monster you want. Here our boy uses a Holiday, brings out a Shkinetta, gets some spells in his hand, we're not afraid of him. We top deck a Chaos Hunter, we're going to Normal Summon, loop Lupine, banish Matrix, and Dark. Matrix gives us a search, Dark does the same thing, Matrix actually just adds Matrix. Dark gives us the search of a duo, and we saw that Matrix duo is our biggest boy when combined with Matrix, we banish two. It was a Hawk and a Dark, so no effects trigger. Now we level dupe the Aloof Lupine, guys. That's what I'm talking about. We level dupe the Aloof Lupine. Now we have our Heretic. He can destroy. She has to chain before we choose a target, which means we're going to be able to destroy whatever she did. We uh, tribute, what, an Aloof Lupine? Then we banish three more. Perfect amount for a Chaos Levioneer. No effect needed. Two 3k bodies, swinging over them. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing an Akiza going second. Very big deck, it looks like. 30 card balance. Only 6 in the extra deck, though. So we're starting with a Dark and a Loop Lupine. We already have a Duo and a Chaos as boss monsters. He sets one monster. Sets two back row. We use the Dark in the end phase. That's a... Head start in our graveyard setup. Now we're gonna normal summon our aloof lupine, banish a dark. It's gonna Canadia our aloof lupine, not the greatest play I've ever seen. We also banish a roar. Dark gives us a search, roar gives us a body on the field. We're gonna go with hawk and a hawk. So hawk on the field, hawk in the hand, use the hawk. Special summon the roar, six plus six. I'm telling you guys, I use M7 virtually every duel with Thunder Dragons. Now we're going to be able to return that monster to his hand. No flip effects. Banish 2. That's a duo. Swing with the 27. Swing with the 28. No answer. Quick lethal after 2 instances of removal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Yami Yugi. Going first. We're both going for rank ups. It's got pretty cool sleeve and mat there. But we got Aloof Lupine, so we're going to be able to banish our Roar, banish a Dark, that's a body, and a search. We search the duo. Now we bring out a level 1. Why do we bring out a level 1? We're going to level dupe him with the Hawk. Use the Hawk, bring out the Roar that we had banished. 6 plus 6, that's M7, and we get that plus 1. Or, or no, sorry, we don't with the uh, Matrix. Matrix, it's not a synchro, he doesn't go to the graveyard. But uh, we use that body. Now we're fighting triple Ds. So, uh, throws a dark on us. 
destroys the aloof lupine, which gives us our dark to our hand. We then throw him away once again. No idea why he didn't get the M7. Now M7 is going to return him to the hand. He's got a bad aim and destroy her. Probably, I guess that's technically better than returning to the hand. Now our Dragon Matrix got banished by our duo. That's going to give us a dark search and a Matrix add. Now the duo with the Matrix in hand gets super fat because it uh, not only triggers his own effect, but obviously gains the attack. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing a Sartorius going first. See what our boys got for us. No extra deck. With Master Destiny means he's not using Parsha. Which is okay for us. Now it doesn't look like the greatest hand we've ever had, but we're gonna start with the Gold Sark. Throw away our Dragon Roar. That's our Matrix. We Tribute the Dragon Dark. Tribute Set the Dragon Dark. That adds a Matrix to our hand. And now we have a Light Monster in the Graveyard. So here our boy uses Twin Barrel Dragon, destroys our poor little Dragon Dark. Then we get a search of a duo. Now he doesn't set any back row and has a handful of monsters, so you know for sure he has Desperado Barrel Dragon. Here we're gonna banish two. Bring out our duo. With a dark, he got banished by the duo. So we got to search a hawk. Hawk special summons roar. And we tribute the roar for another roar. That special summons another hawk. Six plus six. That's your boy M7. I'm not kidding when I'm telling you guys I use this monster virtually every duel with Thunder Dragons now. We return his Dark Machine. No Desperado Barrel Dragon. We don't destroy it. We return it, guys. I'm telling you. M7 every duel with Thunder Dragons. If you don't have the Heratic, don't even trip, dog. It's all about M7. Get one copy. Dust off your Thunder Dragons. Have fun. That's what it's all about, guys. You know I love Thunder Dragons. Spent a lot of time. I really want to get this one right. That's why I took my time doing it. Feel level dupe. Finally lets Aloof Lupine and Dragon Matrix really, really, really shine. Fantastic stuff, guys. Couldn't like the deck more. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.